Hello, and welcome to the spring 2022 semester. If you don't already know me, I'm Tara McCracken, and I'm serving as the president here at Kendall College of Art and Design at Ferris State University. When you see me on campus, please call me Tara. And if we haven't met before, I hope you'll introduce yourself. Whether you are new to KCAT or returning, we welcome you to campus, and I look forward to all the great work we will achieve as both individuals and as a campus community in the months ahead. As we welcome a new year, a new semester, I want to express how proud I continue to be of our campus community for your resilience in responding to the ongoing health pandemic. Our work as a community to support the health and safety of the collective we, for seeing opportunity in the challenges and designing what will be next is just one of the many things that sets KCAT apart as a learning community. As we return to campus, please remember, everyone on campus must wear a mask that covers their nose and mouth while in campus buildings. Designated eating areas are located in both buildings, so you may remove your mask while actively eating in areas that allow for social distancing. You may also use the outdoor spaces to eat and work for additional mask breaks as the weather permits. We will continue the practice of cleaning in and out of our classrooms, and our facilities team will focus on cleaning high touch points. Please pay close attention to your ferris.edu email for the most up-to-date information via direct email. Also remember to read the KCAD this week. It is full of important information and opportunities to connect and expand your learning outside of your classes. Before I share a few of the exciting things we have planned for this semester, I wanna take a moment to showcase this amazing space. If you haven't found your way up to the seventh floor of the 17 Fountain Building to the Student Services area yet, check it out this semester. This space is available to students and RSO groups to use daily, and it is conveniently located near our Student Services team and academic advisor if you have any questions about your schedule or program plan. Joining me today is Kara Peltier. For those of you who do not yet know Kara, she's a financial aid specialist at KCAD, and she's available to meet in person or virtually with current and future students to help navigate the support available to aid you in funding your education. Kara, as we kick off this semester, what are two of the most important things students should be thinking about related to financial aid? So this time of year, I encourage our students, current and incoming, to complete the FAFSA form. The FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid and is available on studentaid.gov. This is one of the best tools to help you fund your education. So some forms of financial aid are available on a first come, first serve basis. So it's really important to get the FAFSA filed early. If you need help or have any questions, I am available as a resource. Once the FAFSA is completed, you should also take time to visit your MyFSU student portal and check out the My Scholarships channel. My Scholarships houses over 600 scholarships for KCAD and Ferris State students, with over 20 specific for KCAD. Applications through My Scholarships are accepted through February 28th, and the best part about these opportunities is that some are renewable, and you can use them for multiple years. Thanks to some amazing alumni and friends, these scholarships are available. All KCAD students have to do is apply. That is wonderful advice, Kara. Thank you for taking the time to share it with us today. I also want to add that if you are enrolled, at least part-time, six or more credits in a degree program, and are not a high school student who is concurrently enrolled, and you haven't already applied for the HERF III funding through the American Rescue Plan, you can connect with Kara today to see what funding, might, funding support might be available to you. You can email Kara at karapeltier at ferris.edu or schedule an appointment with her through Calendly. The spring semester is always full of excitement and anticipation, especially for our soon-to-be graduates. As I shared in the fall, we are planning to return to our in-person annual exhibitions as well as a commencement ceremony this spring. At the same time, we will also continue to present these student achievements online so that supporters across the globe can join us in congratulating this year's graduates. If you are graduating this spring or summer, please pay close attention to your ferris.edu email for information and be sure to attend the graduate fair at KCAD this semester. During our commencement festivities, we will also acknowledge many of our recent graduates who graduated virtually over the last two academic years. We are thrilled to welcome these alumni back to join our celebration and experience crossing the commencement stage. Now, I am pleased to have Michelle Bozak, Director of Curatorial, join me to share a little bit about what will be happening in the Alluvium Gallery and at the UICA this semester. Michelle, I know this semester is full of opportunities to highlight this year's graduates, as well as our faculty work. Can you give a quick overview of what you and the gallery team have planned? Absolutely, Tara. As you can see, the Alluvium Gallery is currently in between shows. 
And in just a little over a week, this gallery will reopen from January 17th through 29th with the first of three master's thesis exhibitions planned for this semester. Then we'll close for about a week to install our faculty sabbatical exhibition, which opens on February 8th. In early March and then April, the gallery will exhibit the remaining two master's thesis exhibitions before closing to install the Undergraduate Excellence Awards exhibition, which opens on May 3rd. So every show will have a reception, allowing time to view the work and hear from the exhibiting artists, designers, and faculty. At the same time next door, the UICA is also preparing to open two new shows in early January. Manufactured Narratives, Chronicles of Textile Artists, is a juried open call that challenged artists to create textile works with a clear focus on aesthetic value, while also weaving in stories and examining their personal experiences. The exhibition includes over 20 artists working within fiber, from weaving to installation. The second show, The Way Forward, will feature in-depth views into the studio practices of Krista Hoffel, Anthony Sonnenberg, and Kiki Zhen. This exhibition continues UICA's dedication to investing in artists and creatives through collaboration, exhibition space, funding, and support. The opening reception for these exhibitions is actually this week, Thursday, January 13th, from 5 to 7 p.m. All are welcome, it's always free, and I hope many of you will join us. While the gallery team will also be working with programs and our graduating seniors to plan and install the undergraduate senior exhibition, we are changing the format and footprint of this exhibition from what we've done in the past. I know that I'm excited to showcase the fantastic work of all of our graduates once again in a physical space. We will also continue to present the master's thesis, the excellence awards, and the undergraduate senior exhibitions online so that supporters from across the globe have the opportunity to see the scope of work and talent of our KCAD graduates. Thank you, Michelle. I've enjoyed all the exhibitions presented since the Alluvium Gallery in UICA reopened this past fall and look forward to connecting with our community around each of the exhibitions you have planned this semester. In addition to these great exhibitions, there will be many opportunities this semester to connect with our campus community, guest lecturers, and alumni through both in-person and virtual events. Please make sure to pay attention to the KCAD This Week, which is released each Monday, to make sure you don't miss out. I am excited for all the ways our community of designers, artists, historians, makers, and problem solvers will come together to develop, explore, and focus forward this semester. See you soon.